Welcome to another series on refactoring patterns. This series is called Simplifying Conditional Expressions. And the first pattern in this series is called Decompose Conditional. The motivation here is that you have a complicated conditional statement and you should extract methods from that condition as well as the statements therein. Now this one isn't particularly complicated but it serves the example quite well. And I'm sure in our daily software development we've seen and even created much more complicated conditionals than this, which could benefit from this pattern quite a bit. So the first thing we're going to do here is just extract a method. In fact, every step we do here involves extract method, which is its own pattern. So we're really just putting that pattern together to create a slightly bigger pattern. Now Visual Studio does have that built in, so we can make use of that. We'll call this is not a summer. And then we'll do the same thing for these ones. We could extract the entire statement, uh, just depends on the assignment that we're using and where it logically belongs, whether this should be returning something or modifying something internally. Since it's just an example, I'm just going to extract this part. reorder these as I always did before. So that they exist in the same order in which they're called. But essentially that's it. And so now, as Grady Booch once said, clean code should read like well-written prose. I don't know if this is so much well-written prose, but it's a bit cleaner to read this statement. We're now saying if it's not summer, then charge is calculate the winter rate. Otherwise, calculate the summer rate. And then each individual piece of this is now in its separate, its own separate reusable method. Even if we don't have to reuse it, it's a lot easier to describe the, the calculation that's taking place rather than see the entire calculation itself. And that's pretty much it for the decomposed conditional pattern. Thanks for watching.